What's up guys, it's Mr. Javid and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server and I'm actually quite pumped to use today's team. So, shout outs to Toast or um, Tapeworm as he is on Smogon. Um, this was actually his team originally, I changed, he had Torn, he had um, Rillaboom here and he had Torn here. And because again I said I don't want to change the structure of the team too much otherwise I'll just use a different team. Um, I've been thinking, yo, Zero, Zero is is that guy. Like, I, I think Zero is that guy. I just think people don't know yet. I don't, oh, oops, I'm glad I caught that. It was Trick right here. But I was like, okay, I'll just knock off he his item and just weaken it for Zero later on. But, no, nah, like, it, I think it's that guy. And so I'm like, you know, it's, and I'll tell you why it's that guy, right? Right now, the meta is filled with gold. Spectre Air is one. Um, it has an amazing speed tier, it's faster than Garchomp, it shuts down most of the ground types that you're going to face, you know, um, it's bulk ups go crazy, before you know you're beating Mel Middles, it's just crazy, right, plus two, you, you're eating hits, and then, you know, hopefully to a killing with Darkest Lariat, uh, but a very high HP, every stat is stacked, except um, special attack, which we don't use, high HP, high defense, solid speed for the metagame, Solid, actually decently solid typing. I know it doesn't get a lot of credit for that, but decently solid typing um, and decently solid offensive typing as well. So, like, nobody's safe when Zarud is running around, especially if you knock those items off, um, Toxapex and whatnot, force those recovers, get burned, all these great things. And, you know, I'm using Subcoil, Toxic Zygarde, Toxic those Buzzwolves, um, which helps Zarud beat it 1v1s. <laughs> it's just... Uh, let's see man. Let's see. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun um, As we're facing trick room 1947 trick room very 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 much impressed with the fact that he managed to I'm not sure if this is the team he used to get there But very impressed with the fact that he even had the cojones to attempt such a, uh, an act um, As you can see in a style like this Zeru just bulks up and, and ravages barring the Magirna um, and so this is gonna be like Zygarde solo. Um, it's trick rumors. Let's identify as trick room options Porygon, Porygon, um, Magirna, and Cresselia. So, Porygon is gonna be his most reliable trick rumor to get this game going. Um, his biggest offensive threat to me is gonna be his Marowak. Um, and for that reason. Um, since Mel Metal counters everything on his team except that Marowak, um, I'm gonna prioritize getting up Stealth Rocks Pronto um, rather than because you're gonna see what I mean. So Porygon is his lead of choice as I expected, um, and we're gonna prioritize getting this because it's Porygon is gonna lose his item here. So that's gonna help with Zygarde and Zuru later on as he teleports. No surprise there. As I said, Marowak is his only way of stopping Mel Metal, so we force Rocks in early. Um, and the Porygon has lost his item, so that's one other thing that can't deal with Mel Metal as he goes to Glacier. You know what I'm talking about this thing. Um, from what I, from what I know, this actually it can boost. It can boost. That's not true. Um, it can boost uh, Mel Metal. There's no point in him substituting here, so one would assume that perhaps a let me see Clefable walls and no, it doesn't wall anything. Um, I'm just thinking about so plus one uh, dark pot later on. Um, Moltres, Moltres, and Mel Mel. Okay, so what I'll do here is go hard Mel Metal, even if he attacks. Um, because I figured he'd Swords Dance there, right? But he can't knock me out. I can pivot into my Moltres here, covering whatever. Oh yes, close combat. I can burn him here with Flame Body potentially, um, and so now he has to cover for um, Icicle Crash or Mel Metal coming back in. And if Mel Metal comes in, he loses a Pokemon. You get what I'm saying? Um, and so he's he's heavy duty boots. Um, CC definitely took me off guard. I didn't expect CC. Um, the question is, do I care more about Moltres than I care about Clefable? Um, I do. I 
do not yeah I do uh, Moltres is a little more important so Icicle Spear wow that's powerful um, and he gets doesn't get all five she needed um, and so we're gonna remove this thing's items so that when it comes in again it can't do whatever it so chooses right um, and then we opt for Mel Metal here and we double iron bash KO this is definitely min speed this thing is slow as dicks and Mel double iron bash can't miss her I always forget that like it's such a weird move but again positioning wise forces in either a kill or a mill metal sack um, very interesting that it's so weak to um, mill metal um, but gunning for probably either a just a Zygarde sweep because he just lost this, this one man that can take out my Zygarde anyway um, and so Poltergeist is probable. Um, I'm thinking, because Zygarde comes in versus the Marrow. Subs up and then, uh, yeah, let's give up Moltres here. Um, so he actually blitzes because the Mel Metal is too much of a threat, which makes sense. Um, uh, so likely Cresselia. Oh, he actually leaves it in. Very interesting. Very interesting decision, especially because I assume he's slower than my Mel Metal. Now that could not be the case, but what this does, it allows for me to go for substitute on what I'm expecting to be a Porygon switch, um, and I'm allowed to Toxic as he TRs. He actually goes for the Ice Beam hard. Um, same situation forces the Trick Room right. Um, and I can actually sub down until oh what oh he teleports okay that makes more sense and so the horse I forgot that this thing has icicle spear I actually forgot that it had icicle spear instead of um, so that means coil well, dire pulled I'll give him Dragapult here. Um, SD was an option there that I was like, okay, he could do that. Um, but as I think, I think with just Mel Metal, with the Trick Room done, and Zygarde, I can win the game. Um, Zarud. That's the spear. I have to lose two mods. The question of what two mods I'm willing to give up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now give up Zarud and get the Mel Metal switch in. See CCs. Wow, I actually I completely blanked on the fact that he had Icicle Spear. In my head, I was like Icicle Crash. So that's why I substituted again there. But the better play was to go to. Um, the better play there was to go to Marowak. I was to go to well, on his Porygon go hard Mel Metal. That was the better play because it would have covered Marowak. Marowak wasn't a threat that was gonna sweep me anyway, and so that was actually a pretty big misplay and and oversight on my part. Not that I don't think I can win. Like I generally don't play in a way where I don't ex like I won't have something in mind for okay I can still win this game if push comes to shove kind of thing it's just that again um, silly mistakes as we get to double iron bash here um, don't get the flinch not the biggest deal in the world considering Mel Metal is just really difficult for him to beat and he's losing his trick room ons um, because the only thing that can even damage my Mel Metal at this point is his um, his horse and if the horse dies then he's gonna get waxed by Zygarde. Oh my, flinch him, flinch him, wow. Even though Lunar Dance doesn't matter too much, um, as he CCs, mm -hmm. um, So he's gonna come down to, the Magirna shouldn't be able to KO me, um, or even to a KO me. Oh, I'm actually faster, which is a big deal for him. And I get the flinch, yeah, so that's game.
Well, actually, that makes sense that I'm slower than Magirna. Magirna generally isn't gonna. But unless he packed Focus Blast, he wasn't even coming closer to a KO. I mean, I'm at like fully invested special attack. Um, and what's it called? Now, if he had Focus Blast and Ice Beam, which is pretty unlikely, or Focus Blast for a cannon, I mean, maybe that's the, the thing. And generally, um, TR mags are gonna be Volt Switch. Like Flur Cannon and maybe Ice Beam or Flash Cannon or something of that nature. Um, and I think if he did have something, he would have gone to it first rather than going into Spectre. For, like he would have gone to Mag first, then gone to the horse to, to revenge kill me. Because if he. How do I put this? If he hits me with his Mag, then I lose because Zygarde loses to the horse. So I can't even switch to Zygarde for protection. Um, or he could just predict me to switch trying to stall out a Trick Room turn and just Isaac. It would put him in a better position, um, but we'll never know. Uh, so yeah, again, I, I figured as much that Mel Metal, as long as I keep it in the back end, would win the game. Mel Metal plus Zygarde. Um, but with the Icicle Spear, I could have played that a little more cleanly. Um, and now I know that the horse sometimes runs CC because I've only seen the sub variant. So in my head, I was like, okay, substitute here a hundred percent of the time. Um, but yeah, it, it worked out as I figured it would. And so if this is unaware cleft, that's another thing that the toxic variant of Zygarde is solid versus, to, um, and so, yeah, like look at his team and look at, well, Choice Scarf as <laughs> um, Dragapult is just deadly here. In fact, I do think I'll kill his Feromosa turn one. Let me calc Shadow Ball versus Feromosa. Um, Dragapult. Actually, um, I actually have it imported. So we're doing that now. Custom set. That's the Choice Scarf one. Okay, right. Pharaoh is super frail, but Drag Dragomosa. Um, Dragapult is super weak. So Shadow Ball doesn't even kill guaranteed. So I'll have to, even if it's naive, so Fire Blast would be what I have to go for. But game plan wise, definitely leaning towards a Zygarde set up and sweep. Um, Metal Metal, eh. But Zarud, if I can overwhelm his um, Magirna can really, really go crazy in this. So, um, Clef as his initial, fair enough. I don't want to show him anything about my Dragapult. I want him to assume that I am. So, Sticky Barb leftovers, okay. Uh, it's funny because I used to have Trick. But he really struggles with with my with my um, Clefable, like defensively. And the fact that he allowed me to, oh, that's a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so he took his sticky bar back, right? Leftovers. Yeah, he took it back. Which came. I don't think sticky barb can be knocked off. Um, as he offers Swampert, that's I guess that's the mind he's willing to lose the item on, um, or he's just willing. Okay, well, because he's gonna flip turn and then I'll knock off again. Defensively, Clefable is just a menace, and I'm gonna utilize that to my advantage. Ball stones, right? Okay. Uh, Saw boil here because he's gonna flip turn. Um, not having my leftovers is annoying, but um, uh, Moltres because I think Cinderace changes moves before before um, well, Cinderace is a bitch actually. Hmm. The Clef doesn't have leftovers, which is a, it matters a lot. But Cinderace is actually like mad annoying. Um, but things are gonna get a little interesting here. Obviously, Dragon Ball counters anything like defensively. Um, Gong Shot's gonna hurt. Hopefully, no. He does get the luck, but that was gonna be Cinderace is just one of those things. Um, particularly Gong Shot. So Sucker Punch is there, no surprise, no surprise. And now if he goes through U-turn, he's screwed. 
because um, Moltres is just that good. So Scorching Sands it would be a nice if we could get a burn there or something along those lines. Um, and again, positionally Moltres is just amazing as well because Flip Turn has to risk the burn and I get to potentially burn him here. What I don't want to do is I can't afford to get stuck in a U-turn loop. So if I go to what checks this, I'd have to go to Zarud, right? And so I get two opera, he crits me. Mm. Now he can go to his Cinderace if he wanted. That crit mattered a lot. So I've Scorching Sand him twice. And he, and he touched my flame body, didn't get burned, but crit me. Mad annoying. Um, oh, that crit is huge. And if he burnt me, if I got burnt one of the times, um, upside, you know, Mel Metal, Mel Metal, because I'd assume you'd opt for something that can harm Zapdos, right? And so, I mean, harm Zygarde, because I don't think you want Zygarde in. Well, I was wrong. Um, my man gives no fucks about Zygarde. Okay. So we're still going to Ice Punch here. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Um, so, Ice Punch did no damage, which implies... My Metal Metal being this slow is actually not great. I need to play this game a little more cleanly. And overwhelm this Clef. I'm not sure how I'm going to overwhelm it though. Mm, I'll have to play the long game for this. So we'll knock here. Um, again, Swampert critting my Moltres is a very big deal. But. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So Zabdos' item gone. Being gone is a big deal. Because I can Zerud him depending on what. Um, because I can just root and overwhelm his max. So he's banking on luck here. Um, and so Clef gets health back. Cinderace could come in here. Zapdos would come in on rocks. And I'd have to give up a mod to Cinderace. So he does have Hurricane. Okay, give me the special attack drop. Nice. So now that's excellent because now he's going to roost and then he's going to switch to Cinderace, which I don't mind. I can't risk a gunk shot. Well, actually, what I can do here is knock off on the Cinderace switch. He defogs, though, which, unless that's not. I don't get the defog unless he is. I knock off again. Cinderace. Always, 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 always going to. Mm, no. No. Mag I thought could be a possibility, but Mag isn't as concerning to me. Um, generally, these are shift gear, assault vest, something of that nature. And I'm going to knock off here, assault vest. I'll take assault vest, especially if you're Iron Head. I'll definitely take that. And I'm faster than you. So Mag is assault vest, which is good information. Um, likely Volt Switch come in here over inverses. See? Okay. I... Uh, Okay, um, he's going to have to eventually Volt Switch, because if it gets to the point where I get the hard switch into Moltres, my Moltres is back. That's why, again, I always pay attention to mid-battle things where it's like, okay, maybe there's no structural game plan to his like process, and so if Moltres comes back, then Fairmosa can't do as much work as it'd like. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna top boil a couple more time until I condition him into iron heading. Mm-hmm. And the saw boil again. Because it's gonna be a big problem. What's also fascinating is the fact that if I go Mel Metal on any of these turns, he loses a mod. Um because I just ice punch the next turn. Mag can't touch Mel, particularly in the assault vest area. So ice punch. Um, but I'd rather have Moltres healed. I don't know the rolls enough on Zapdos to know if my Moltres is faster than his. 
but yeah um, the fact that he's hesitating here I think he's gonna eventually ball switch um, and I'll have to just lose him on to Cinderace I'm faster so he doesn't need to fear um, and I don't want to be wasting all these softballs but because of the crit on the flip turn that put me in a really awkward position now because otherwise I'd be comfortable going Moltres but if he vol switches on the turn that I go so mm -hmm. softball again okay now I'll go Moltres if he vol switches here he's a king okay get the flame body so no not too much um, as he's gonna probably vol switch here it's too late though it's too late 54 not amazing but I'm outside of the range of anything he can go for uh, and so the way he's playing Zygar one just can eat whatever he goes for but the way he's playing is like okay you know I don't give no fucks I got no fears and okay uh, so what I'll do is just thousand arrow thousand arrow hard um, first could be a triple axle variant of Pharaoh, um, but hurricaning here for him would be too problematic because triple axle going hard Pharaoh to triple axle could make sense, but you might fear the fear the glare, and you don't want your cleft glared, especially with no item. Um, mm, But, um, so it goes hard clef, which is important. I do need damage on that so I can eventually. So I'm going to take a Pokemon from him here um, as he actually wishes, which means the clef is going to stay low unless he's protect wish. Actually, awesome. So the clef is going to stay low. Yeah, so the clef hasn't healed. Which is a big deal um, as we saw boy here still going for it saw boy again here if I'm not getting the flame body you're definitely not getting this bro um, I'm having hurricane it's tough for Zerud uh, so it'd be what and blast into Stealth I can do. Uh -huh. hmm. Mm -mm. These are sixteen discharges. What's the solution here? can do so well, that was a really big misplay on his end like discharging that particular turn um, this allows for me to coil as he got goes clef right and because he goes clef um, he had sticky barb I mean he could go for uh, I know I don't die to moonblast but I want to show this up so I can get rid of clefable um, right right so coil the first one did the first one did 26 so plus two will to a KO for sure um let me see thousand arrows as he attacks thousand arrows as he attacks and then get a KO while I'm not okay yeah so he's gonna moon blast here a thousand arrow again If he tricks here, kudos. But yeah, I figured he'd moon blast. That's not doing damage. Just so now Cliff is gone. Unless he hards for most of this turn. So Cliff is gone. We managed to overrun the Cliff, which means that's his only way to stop Zygarde once I set up again. Um so the Mosa is in, which I expected a while back, but you know. Um, so the question is, does I don't know the roles for Ice Beam, non-invested Mosa. Uh 
and clef and all these things um because what i'm trying to do is have a situation where if moltres heals which would be versus uh, clef clef comes in on let's see if clef gets to a ko by ice beam i highly doubt wow he's life orb mm. And he doesn't have triple axle, which is good. So I'll give up Clef here. Uh, he got a special, so he's max special attack. Wow, that actually might be problematic. Um, Fire Blast here, shoot, shoot to a KO. Uh, Magirna, but I'll be patient. And I'll go Mel Metal. So I think he would attack into. I think he would attack into um, Zygarde, I assumed. Because Zygarde coming in there would be a dub. He goes Swampert of all things, interestingly. Um, yeah, since he's like a Bug Bust variant, that's not great. So a lot for Moltres here. Roost. Since we have Rocks up two. It's gonna get real interesting in the end game. Um, primarily because I struggle so much with the Zapdos. Um, Earthquake on his end would make sense. I actually need this burn a lot. Yes, yes, it's a big burn. He has Toxic. Why didn't he Toxic last time then? Okay. All right then. Uh, so I'll roost here so I can take on his Pheromone. So if your Earthquake is good play. Flip turns though. That still does a lot because he's um, torn, I assume. So the Zabdos rears his ugly ass head. Um, so now we have to deal with combo of thunder and all those things and whatnot. And so how do I win versus Cinderace is the question. Because if Pheromosa dies, I win. Not really because Zygarde took too much damage and the Zabdos is too fast. Hmm. So I know I'm fast. Okay, that's a that's a big crit there. That's a big crit because now he's dead. So Zygarde would invite Feramosa. The Dragapult dies. The Zapdos is one less mine. Yeah, I gotta go to Zygarde. Mm. So again, he could switch for a sack fodder. Problem with that is because uh, Cinderace gets to come in, all that, and so it's a, it's a, it's a kill of kill for kill here. Um, goes Mosa first. Cinderace would have probably been a little better because Mosa gets revenge killed. Because I have to keep. Um, uh, so I think his Pheromosa may have like. Focus Blast some Bug Buzz. Actually, two it kills me, which isn't great. Mm. And so obviously one more turn, and then it's gonna be Magirna versus Zygarde. Magirna versus Zygarde. Uh. Not if he chokes and goes for Swamper, right? Please, for the fall off God. No, I didn't want you to KO him. So I lose. I lose now. Because basically what I need... Maybe I should have double switched there. And then that would have given me the sub versus Swampert. And then that would have... Maybe done something. Mm. I needed Moltres to do his thing earlier. Special Pheromosa. Wow. So we gotta be mindful of special Feramosa now. So the game's over. I can't win versus Feramosa. Um, mm. 
I don't regret much of what I did in that game. Uh, I think honestly, the only reason we were, if he was special Faramosa all along, the only reason we even had a chance in that game is because of how he played Zapdos and how he played Clefable. Because he technically, there's technically no way, especially after the flip turn crit, there's no way I could have beaten that Faramosa. So the gunk shot poison, and which meant the only thing I'd have for Faramosa, which would be Gyropult, is now um, on a timer. So otherwise, I would have kept rocks off the field if Dragapult, if Gyropult wasn't poison, I'd have kept rocks off the field so that I can always have it versus the Faramosa. Um, hopefully, we get a 19. Okay, good. I prefer to, as I said, play a uh, higher ladder player. That, um, higher ladder players uh, but fair so we still you still have to consider something like something like a uh, special Faramosa uh, just in general because that's just it's possible um, but yeah Moltres did his damn thing I, I really like Moltres in this game as well the Moltres plus Zygarde in conjunction really just batters this guy um, Clefable guard as well against one two three four only two steals which are for the most part shut down by Moltres. Um, Mel Metal at full has no counters barring Swampert. Let's, so let's see if he plays his Swampert in the way I expect. Um, Dragapult con Scarf destroys him. So if I lose this game, I lost it. One, either because he pulled up on me with something and I just wasn't, you know, intelligent enough to know what it was. Not intelligent, but aware enough to know what it was off jump and so he at least Swampert which is interesting because as I said he gets dropped by Moltres and um, by Melmetal without this Pokemon and so tough uh, it could be you know he's opting for a like a I'm gonna opt for rocks kind of you know situation rather than show him that I have U-turn which implies that I'm choice I'm gonna hard switch he doesn't fear Draco, um, so that gives me info right then and there. Swampert, far bigger concern than, well, rocks would impact nothing. Heavy duty boost, heavy duty boost, sure, resist, 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 and Pheromos I don't need any hazards for. So, uh, we're going to play the long game, slow play it. Uh, we're going to remove this Swampert's item, or remove Magirna's item, rather, <laughs> as uh, could be a flash cannon variant, I assume... The fact that he focused blast implies that he expected Mel Metal, and he wanted the damage on Mel Metal. No way I'll go Mel Metal on a Magirna when it destroys his team. Uh, but I'm, I assume he gets battered by Mel Metal so often with this style of team that he just has to, you know, have countermeasures for that. Um, I'm gonna soft boil it here since he's faster than me. So he does have Flash Cannon, and he gets a Spadev drop with it, which implies that he's gonna Volt Switch here. Um, that sucks because I didn't want Moltres to have to take it. But um, perhaps he'll focus blast again, right? Um, I don't think we deal with a Solvis Mel Metal the best. Not Mel Mel, Mel right? Um, and so because he went hard, Kiro might assume this is like Earth Power or something like that. Um, he could Volt Bolt Bolt Strike immediately. Um, but now that I see that it has no heavy duty boost, that's good information because I'm trying to destroy him with Zygarde. Now, Triple Axel could play a role into why that doesn't happen. Um, also, got to be mindful of his Kartana, but I do have Scarf Dragapult for that. Uh, what do I do here? Which is more important, Clefable or Moltres? I think mulch is a little more important. So he's Icicle Spear, um, and I'd assume Fusion Bowl here. Let, let him take this uh, as he spears. So he decided to keep his item on his Swampert for you know smart, good reason. Um, as I opt for Dragapult, what I'm trying to do is position because he has to go to Magirna, right? 
I ideally want Smegina can focus blast, Volt Switch, all these things. Um, if he's a Fleur Cannon variant, or he could hard switch it. He actually has a lot of offensive threats to me. Because I'm trying to, Zarud can mess him up. But if it's like Sacred Sword Kartana, then that doesn't work. I'll probably have to try to sweep him with Shadow Ball Gyropult. But if I go Zygarde, he could hard switch to... Could hard switch to cure him or go cure him then flip turn. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have... I can't play this game, quote unquote, safely. Um, I don't have the leeway. I know he has to Swamp Root. Um, so ideal situation is one of these Scorching Sands burns him. So yes, it's called... Uh, which means maybe Toxic. Uh, it's called Toxic. Uh, Scorching Sand, flip turn. I can't have him. Um, Skull doesn't do it kill, and I can't have him earthquaking on my roost, right? Um, so this matters a lot because, as I said, Mel Metal is going to be a pretty big problem. And I do need this Swampert withered, as Skull is his initial. Perhaps he doesn't have flip turn. Um, I swear, I have the worst <laughs> Skull burns of all time. Um, so if mm, press it, no, no. Zarud would mean. So he toxics. He had to. I don't know why people aren't just toxicing. They have it the whole time, you know. Um. So he has to be wary of Zapdos. He has to be wary of. Um, so like Magirna, Zap, Zapdos, or Magirna would make the most sense here. Zapdos, Magirna. Um. So I have to double to Zygarde here. Mm -hmm. And so this gets interesting here because he could, he could just Flare Cannon Heart first. Um, but I'd assume he'd, since he saw the leftovers, he would, so I'll sub first to see what he goes for. So he Flare Cannons, um, and I'm a thousand arrows here. Curum was expected, um, but we'll just have to Mel Metal and uh, Ice Punch into Mel Metal. Maybe he expected my double switch. Um, perhaps he's just like, I know the Mel Metal is a problem, but I don't think, I think he expected me to double switch to predict Swampert. Swampert can't touch Zygarde. Not can't touch it, but you know what I'm saying. So he's willing to trade Mel Metal for Magirna. Um, he Flare Cannon's expecting me to. Okay, um, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Unless, uh, if you were going to this, certainly you'd have to go for, I have to go hard, dry pull. Yeah, I don't think he's expecting me to be Scarf anyway, so you have to go for, um, I don't want him speed boosting if he has, um, Draco Media here is safe. So Zapdos gets the free switch. He gets swept by Shadow Ball or Draco Meteor if he doesn't roost the Zapdos. Um, and for that reason, I do think he's banned to Triple Axel, in which case I'll go hard to the Zyg. This gets, this gets tricky in the end game. This gets tricky in the end game here. Um, so a thousand harrows hard first swamp is his initial but because he doesn't have he could um hard switch out here into Feramosa. that would be um a wise play but earthquake breaks the sub so zarud coil coil swamp Ridge. I, I did figure he toxic there, but to lose half our health on Zygarde is no no game plan. Um, so Feramosa slash Feramosa slash 
Cartana makes the most sense here, or you could opt for uh, Zapdos and then, but Darkest Lair, eh, Dark Zapdos. Well, Darkest Lair, Larry hard. He he predicts me to double switch, I'd assume, because obviously Swampert can't stay in. Um, so we'll jungle healing here. Because Jungle Healing again here. The Pheromosa comes in and it's seems to be heavy duty boots. Um But it's it's heavy duty mm, Which means you'd go for spear. I think it'll come down to if he's one a speed boosting variant. If he's adamant, you know. Um Quiver Dance. Our special Pheromosa is the wave now? What the fuck is going on, bro? Like, I'm getting waxed by Pheromosa multiple times now. Now, he still could be slower than my Dragapult. Because I do think he's a... a if you're Quiver Dance, there's no way you're speed boosting. And so, upside is... Wow, like, this is actually kind of interesting. How the metagame is starting to evolve. So, he's special attack boosting... Which means he is slower than me. Um, I'll fire blast hard. This Pheromosa is a problem. Hopefully I connect and KO. I still think I KO because it's super effective. That's why I don't want a Draco. I don't think Draco kills. But wow, that was... Um, I'm low-key glad I have Scar Dragapult right now. Heavy duty boot. How do I even win this? Because he still can very easily prevail as he fire blasts here and has to go for it. He could double switch. Um, Zygarde being in because Hurricane makes the most sense here. I can't preserve Melmetal any longer. So he doubles to Pheromosa. He has to go for a close combat here. He has to. Um, if he predicts me, he wins. Kudos. But he has to. Melmetal. If I bash it's. Um, Pheromosa, he's done for in this town. Shadow Ball, Draco did 50. So Draco, two Dracos kill something here. Um, but I can't Draco Meteor. I'll Shadow Ball first. I think that Shadow Ball should two KO Zap those. Super close. Please kill, please kill. Okay, that's huge. That's a huge KO there. Um, I repulse so weak sometimes. And so, if he... I basically have to just put him in a spot where he can't afford to go for... Because he has a Quiver Dance, Quiver Dance once, and he's just going to have to go for Broke. He actually Ice Beamed. Huh. So I'll double Iron Bash here. I don't know why he Ice Beamed. That surprised me. Um, so because he Ice Beamed, they actually don't have to go for... No. Let me think this through. Because what I'm trying to avoid is him having a quiver dance while my Dragapult is in versus something I can't, like, while Pheromosa is in versus something I can't beat. So right here, I Shadow Ball KO Amon, um, and then after that, I'll have to predict. So I think my play here is to actually... Because I have to have Zarud in versus Pheromosa so he can only get plus one. So what I'm going to do is Shadow Ball here on the out chance he went cart. And this next turn is going to be a prediction. This next turn is going to be a prediction. Actually, go Swamper, so it's not going to be a prediction. Never mind. So I think I win for sure now. It should double to Pheromosa, but it doesn't. But even if he didn't, because um, I think bulk up Zarud actually just wins now because his Pheromosa seems to be Quiver Dance. It could be U-Turn too. 0% um, chance that he goes uh, switches into Pheromosa here. But I don't need to predict or anything like that. I just needed the bulk up. So he might hard switch here to prevent me from bulking up too much to where close combat doesn't kill. 
But now I force the Feramosa to attack me. Um, if it's U turn, then you just Darkest Lariat here. And then that brings, leaves it in Shadow Ball range. Yeah. And since he can't get the special attack boost, I mean, it's the speed boost, Dragapult comes in and Shadow Ball knocks it out. So that was very close. Very, very close. Guys, be careful of special Feramosa. That's the, that's the mood of this live right here. Um, I thought with the influx of Toxapex, but you know, it's cool to see shit like this evolve. People are like, okay, you know, my physical Feramosa, they're getting whacked. So now we faced Life Orb Special. And now we faced Quiver Dance mixed. Like this shit is lit. Um, man, I, I'm debating playing one more to be honest with you. But I'm gonna leave it there. I think we rounded this out about 1900. Funny, we all we only lost to the guy who wasn't. I'm pretty sure that was before the ladder. Was, so, you know, around there. Um, really enjoyed the scene. Links in the description below. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, grab a copy of the book down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.